Hello everyone, Endy here, and today I'm going to be responding to um, Underman's video on me. Now, originally I had went into this v res this video on me with an optimistic viewpoint. Maybe, like maybe, just maybe, it had good points and it was, well, a well-constructed video. Good points and all that, you know? However, this video exists. So, yeah, let's just get into it. This is Stellar Grammar here, and before you attack me saying, Oh, well, what if he's from a country where his main language is in English? That's fair, but what's also fair is that he has seven and a half thousand subscribers, and he could probably get someone to check his grammar on his scripts before he... Meme review. Now, I, I, a lot of you guys are now gonna fucking hate me for this one. I bet it. I bet I can guarantee... I'm losing subscribers after this. And he honestly doesn't even put any background music in his videos. And also, I don't put background music in my stuff because, number one, if you have to put background music in your stuff, that just shows that you're kind of uninteresting. This is Stellar Grammar here, and before you attack me saying, oh, well, what- So, first off, people and their opinions change over time. This isn't me saying that the video's old. No, this is me saying that people and their opinions on things change over time. Also, I had never said that I was interesting. I, it might have been implied, yes, but if I wanted people to think that I thought that I was interesting, then I would have said it. But in the clip that you showed, I didn't say it. So, that point is already kind of gone there. And also, you try to say that I should make a follow-up on this particular part because my views have changed. And first off, if that were the case, then I would have to make a follow-up on a lot of things. And also, I shouldn't have to make a follow-up on things like that if people can clearly see that my opinions and everything have changed just by, well, you know, listening and hearing the fact that there's background music. That shouldn't be something that I should have to do when people can clearly tell that I've changed as a person B between the two, but, you know, sure, follow up, I guess. If I also want to mention the fact that he stutters a lot in his commentary videos. Counter the whole stuttering thing, listen. I know you're a perfectionist and all, but like, I feel that the stutters are perfectly fine. This is Stellar Grammar here, and before you attack me saying, oh, well, what if he's from a country where his main language is in English? That's fair, but what's also fair is that he has seven and a half thousand subscribers, and he could probably get someone to check his grammar on his scripts before he... So, first off, before he starts talking, he says that I said, pay someone, when I said, have someone check his scripts to make sure that there are no grammar mistakes. And really, there are only one, there's only one thing here that you can really correlate between the two. And it's not that enough to really make it a big point. And your whole thing here, it really just falls apart especially when you look at it from a bigger perspective, because when you look at it, just comparing the two at the times, at the time that the videos were made, you can see that Leo was growing at an incredibly fast rate, and therefore more people would be coming over to his channel, and there would be more people there that he could ask to just check his scripts. However, my videos didn't get like a lot of views and also my vi my viewers had barely interacted at all at the time if ever and you're trying to correlate these two by saying oh well you had 3,000 subs you could have just edited out the stutters which but my point was that um I my point was that Leo could get someone to check the grammar on his scripts. And you try to bring up that sub count thing as if it's relevant at all. Like, sure, editing out stutters thing, I mean, I guess, sure. But, like, also, I had said that, hey, I think the stutters are fine, which kind of means I'm not gonna edit them out. 
but you know, sure, there that that's a point, I guess. Sure, um, even though it's really not, because when you look at it from a bigger perspective, the points don't correlate enough and just don't work well enough together for them to be correlated. And really, this is my problem with a lot of the criticisms in this video, and it's that they're very lackluster, or when he tries to justify these criticisms, they just end up worse than when he first said them. And therefore, these criticisms just kind of fall flat on their face because of all this talk about them rather than him just making the point and just moving on because that would have left the criticisms with somehow more ground to stand on than when he starts talking about them more. And, like, the, the thing is, is that with bad grammar and bad spelling and everything, words and sentences can be changed entirely in meaning. All it takes is one word to change the meaning of a sentence entirely. Meanwhile, stutters aren't going to do that. They're just going to delay the sentence from getting out in the first place. So really, these two don't correlate. There's been multiple occasions where Andy has been a hypocrite for his own good or the good of others or the good of his main point. Um, for example, he was completely fine with Panda Lover saying that R word, R slur twice. Anyway, but yeah, he was completely fine with her saying the R slur twice and then Leo leaking it, uh, to, because he hated Leo at the time, right? He hated Leo at the time. But in DMs when, you know, uh, Panda called someone the R slur, you had a full go at her. So, first, let's look at this from this perspective, and this perspective is that, hey, Panda had acknowledged that she shouldn't have said the R slur and had basically implied that she wasn't going to say it from then on. However, she still said it. Even if it was in DMs, she still said it. And, you know, after saying something like that, you generally think that she'd refrain from saying it again, yet she had said it again. And on top of this, I was fine with it the first time because... I didn't really care the first time. There was, you know, nothing for me to really care about with this situation. But then the second time, it had changed because they had said it with me as the other person in the conversation, knowing my conditions, and they'd still said it and used it as an insult, even though there were other words that they could have used in that situation. Therefore, I got at her for saying it. Because, duh, if there's other words that you can use in this situation, then don't use that word. And as soon as you didn't hate Leo, as soon as you had forced him to retract the copyright cl claims on yours, you pretended he was like he was the best boy on planet Earth, okay? He exposed your friend, Panda Lover, okay? He, he attacked them, and you said, I I'm neutral, guys. I'm neutral. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know who's lying here. They're both in the wrong. I don't know. First off, I had never said that they were both in the wrong. I said that neither of them were 100% in the right, and that I basically didn't want to agree with them if they weren't 100% in the right with a situation like this. And I even said in the comments section, in a reply to Panda's comment on that post, that, hey, I lean more towards Panda's side in this situation. So, what's your real point here? Are you trying to say that I'm saying that... Are you trying to say that I think Leo's a good person now, or or what? Because I'm not. I'm really not. In fact, I'm saying that Leo is still a bad person, and I'm not denying this, but I don't think that either party is 100% in the right with this situation in particular. Note how I said 100% in the right. Not both parties are in the wrong completely. So, 
if you could, please stop twisting my words and, uh, you know, say what I said, that would be great. And also, maybe do a little bit more research beforehand because, you know, I had said that I leaned more towards Panda's side with that situation in the fucking comments section. And also, I had never said that Leo was a good person or was all chummy chummy. And also, I had never even forced Leo to take down the video. I had just said that Leo should not take down the video, take down the strikes. I never forced him to, I said that he should publicly, because I know for a fact that YouTube's appeal system won't do anything. I've seen it. I know how it works. It will do nothing for me. And if you want to talk person who got Leo to remove the strike, then Panda was the one to do that. Panda was the one who talked to Leo and said that, and got Leo to basically agree to removing the strike on my video, on my videos. That was Panda, not me. And I still hate Leo. It's, I'm not denying this. So your point really has no ground to stand on here. And I really feel that you should have done more research with this than you did. Yeah. About the current Leo Snowy and Panda Lover drama, I'm not taking a side. My belief is that both sides have something wrong with them inherently. And in a situation like this, I want to agree with a side 100% before I stand on that side. And I do not agree with either side 100% in this current moment. While I do believe that Leo is not a great person, I do not think that he deserves hate. As hate only causes more problems than it solves. Okay, so hate only causes more problems than it solves. You made two fucking diss tracks that weren't informational. They were literally just to send hate. I hate to break it to you, but that's not what diss tracks are for, and that's also not what my diss track was for. My diss tracks were to point out flaws and negatives with Leo in song form and generally just me warning Leo not to att pick a fight with me because I'll win the fight, basically. That's what the diss tracks and warnings and the warning, the diss tracks and partly a warning were for. That's what they were, f that's what diss tracks are for and that's what they're for. They're for pointing out the negatives and bad things of a person or group or thing and painting them in a like worse light and just generally making them hurt as well a diss that's what diss tracks are for diss tracks are not the same as making an entire video on someone and then saying that everyone should go hate on that person that's not what diss tracks are for that's that might be what you interpret it as but that's not what it's for that's just not what they're for, and that's not why they exist. So, yeah, pretty bad point here. Anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. Um, I was really hoping for something better here, because, I don't know, I just really wanted someone who could really say something about me and actually criticize me, so that way I can improve. However... That's not what this video did, and it's very unfortunate that, to me that that's not what this video did, because that's what I wanted this video to do. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't send a hate. Leave a like, and leave a like if you like this video. And um, comment what you thought of his video and the points he made, and... Um, subscribe for more content, and uh, yeah, I'll see you gamers next time. Stay epic.